Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We have one more film in today's look at director John Ford. Ford is most closely associated with his influential sprawling westerns, movies like The Searchers, Stagecoach, and She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. None of our three films in primetime is a western, though this final picture features the actor who starred in all three of those Ford westerns and many others, John Wayne. From 1940, The Long Voyage Home. I think it's fair to say Ford and Wayne make up the most significant director-actor collaboration in Hollywood history. Ford's pictures help define the lasting image of the frontier towns and open expanses of the Old West that Americans had. And John Wayne, or some combination of Wayne and the characters he played, came to define the prototypical American cowboy. Rugged, proud, certainly violent, most of all determined. That said, The Long Voyage Home is not one of those westerns. This is set at sea. Based on four one-act plays by Eugene O'Neill, it's the story of steamship crewmen crisscrossing the Atlantic, drinking, fighting, and facing the demons and demands of life at sea. Many of the same elements you'd find in a Ford Western, minus the ocean. The Long Voyage Home was produced with a relatively modest budget, just under $700,000, shot mostly, though, on studio sets. Greg Tolan's cinematography adds to the sense of confinement the men feel on the cramped ship. Tolan's use of shadows and deep focus, which audiences would experience again in more dramatic fashion the next year with Citizen Kane, also shot by Tolan, creates a lonely, unforgiving environment. Ford was so impressed by Tolan's work on the long voyage home that they share a title card, which happened again on Citizen Kane, where Tolan shares his credit with director Orson Welles. From 1940, also with Ian Hunter and Ward Bond, The Long Voyage Home. The Long Voyage Home is an adaptation of four one-act plays by Eugene O'Neill, who was impressed by director John Ford's work. After O'Neill saw the picture, he sent Ford a telegram. My congratulations on a grand, deeply moving, and beautiful piece of work, he wrote. It's a great picture, and I hope you're as proud of it as I am. Ford later gave a print of the film to O'Neill, who reportedly watched it so many times that he wore it out. The Long Voyage Home was produced before the United States entered the Second World War. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, John Ford went all in, ready to support the war effort and give back to the country he felt had given so much to this son of Irish immigrants. Ford made documentaries for the U.S. Navy during the war, including the Battle of Midway, an 18-minute doc, where Ford and two others filmed the Japanese attack on Midway Island as it happened. Ford was wounded during the attack. Seeing men that he had met and spent time with die shook Ford to his core. I really am a coward, he said, comparing himself to the sailors who fought at Midway. Up next... TCM goes underground with a 1974 film directed by Arthur Hiller and produced by Hugh Hefner. 